Well, hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate those likes and subscribes. Anybody who has, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. I am running a 10% off sale, as well as $7.77 off my one-hour FaceTime, and a 10% sale off all of my FaceTimes when booking online. The promo codes are in the description of this video. If you would like to enter to win a $175 dollars you can do that by liking subscribing and entering blessing but scorpio if you're doing well for yourself let's allow this for someone who could use that extra money that will be drawn on october 31st paypal or cash app is necessary if you would like to enter to win a free FaceTime, half hour FaceTime reading you could do that by liking subscribing and entering reading well, I hope everybody's doing well and vibing high and living your best Friday life. If you work Monday through Friday, baby, you have made it to the weekends. We are having a full moon lunar eclipse on the 28th, Scorpio. This moon, this eclipse is in your seventh house of relations, relating here, partnerships. It is a Taurus full moon. Taurus is our sister um, sign. Taurus is very earthy, very productive, you know, very nurturing. A lot of fertility right now, as well as a lot of, of light being shown on your relationships with people in general. Love relationships, of course. This is a, the time, this is the last eclipse we have of the season. And this is the last time for us to really have big epiphanies and discoveries. Be careful on taking money from anybody right now or starting any major um, <clears throat> financial thing. It is not advised, but as far as your relationships go, there may be relationships that become deeper or relationships that can uh, fall apart right now. A lot of discoveries feel um, really amplified emotions right now when it comes to relationships. So if you've been having a hard few days or you feel like every you're just not vibing with the people around you, it could be because there's something you need to look at and changes need to be made. For some of you, you're going to have some big epiphanies coming up over the course of the next few days and weeks. This eclipse energy is going to help you have some epiphanies about what you are not receiving, what you need to start doing, what changes need to be made when it comes to relationships in your life, Scorpio. So get prepared if you're just, if you're feeling off, if you're not, I once again, 3.30 a.m., you uh, hear this girl has been up. The full moon energy, It's there's no other, this has happened to me every full moon over the last three months. I have been getting up at 3.30 in the morning for at least three to four, sometimes five days around the full moon. For some of you, your sleep may be interfered. You may be really taking a look at the things in your life that you feel lack in. It may be amplified to you right now. So just try to stay as balanced as you possibly can. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me that the overall energy is the lovers, an emotional connection, a choice of heart. For some of you here, you're making some decisions. Your overall energy today, the lovers, a decision needs to be made in a relationship, whether that is a lover or a friendship or a business relationship. You seem to be trying to make some decisions here in your life, trying to see how you could possibly start doing things differently because for a lot of you, you feel a lot of lack when it comes to love. You feel a lot of lack when it comes to what people give back to you. And it's going to be amplified right now. 1919 transformation. If it is asked that you take notice that you hold within your hands the power to change your life. Within this realization, you will feel your sense of purpose and your connection to a new beginning. The affirmation here is, I release 
what I no longer need to carry and I open myself to transformation and the energy of the divine. This is a huge transformational time for you, Scorpio, when it comes to what you will accept and what you won't. What little tittle breadcrumbs you've been getting from people in your life that you will accept and what you will not accept. For some of you, you're going through a major transformation. You're changing from inside out. You're, you could be going through a bit of a glow up or you could be going through a period of really making big changes in your life necessary changes the divine is asking you to know that you have the power to change your life nothing changes until something changes and that change has got to be you sweetheart angel number 27 your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate towards all ways of life <clears throat> You value freedom in expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world. I am expressive. For some of you, you're feeling the need to express yourself. You're feeling the need to express yourself to a lover, express yourself to the people around you. If you're having a hard time expressing yourself, if you feel like your throat chakra is closed every time you get around certain people or a certain person, write it out. Speak it out by yourself. <clears throat> Sit down and write this person a letter. It is very difficult. It can be very emotional, but right now is a great time to do that. Release those feelings inside that are no longer serving you. Start releasing those feelings that um, you know you no longer want to hang on to of resentment, of pain, of rejection, um, whatever the case is here, of love. You know, write it out and speak it. So tell me, spirit. What is the daily message I can give my babes today? What is the daily message today? This is a timeless reading, but wrongs will be made right here. Karmic justice, Scorpio. Karmic justice. That's what I like to see. You will be vindicated. Getting what you deserve. Learning karmic lessons. But you have you don't have all the facts. You could have a lot of options right now. You seem to be fragmented. You are being guided here to get clear on what it is you want, what it is you desire, Scorpio. Because for some of you, you just don't have all the facts in a situation. <clears throat> it's a stepping stone process. Oh boy, there's somebody in your life that's in the devil energy. You may be embodying a low vibration right now. Addiction problems, obsession, codependency, materialism, bad financial habits, shadow self behavior. Um, you may be in your shadow self right now. We all have light and we all have dark, darling. But I promise you that it's much happier over here in the light. And you're talking about a girl who lived in her shadow self for many, many years. It is much better over here in the light, Scorpio, when you're not obsessing over things, when you're giving it to the divine and you understand that what is meant for you will never pass you by. When you're not worrying or overspending because you're so unhappy or doing whatever it is here some of you are doing. Now, for some of you, you just have somebody in your energy here that is in the devil energy and it could be bringing down your vibe, bringing you down. There's events taking place in the future here, stepping into your spiritual power. You have an inner knowing of exactly what it is you need to do. You have an inner knowing. Your spirit guides, the divine, has been talking to you, has been knocking at your door, Scorpio, telling you there's things that you need to change. One of the ways you will know that is if every time you turn around, there's some kind of issue, there's some kind of problem. If things are not manifesting in your life the way you want them to, it is the divine creating blockages so you can start doing things differently. For some of you, you've done the same thing for so long, um, good or bad, that um, um, you're just having a hard time stepping out of this energy or you've thought about the same person for so long that you just automatically your subconscious is just thinking of them. That is normal. You have to put a stick in the spoke. Become mindful. Every time you think about them, say an affirmation. Fill your mind with new things. Do something creative that's new or start a new class. Do something to change up this energy if you are having obsessed of thoughts taking one step at a time don't rush the journey gradually build on your success and the start of something bigger you are just stepping 
little by little out of this energy. For some of you, you may be having a lot of obsessive thoughts. You may be feeling um, like trapped in your mind. But tell me about the karmic justice wrongs being made right. There's going to be some things made right for you, sweetheart. Divine intervention, duality here, perfection. The spirit is letting you know that you will be vindicated as above, so below. But it's going to take careful effort. Somebody here um, may fix you up. You may be asked out on a date or you may have a friend, a co-worker, a family member who wants to set you up with somebody. Somebody could be coming in to shoot their shot, but a strategy needs to be implemented. If you are down on your luck, if you are not in a good place, you can't just sit around and hope that change comes because sweetheart you're going to be waiting for a very long time but what you can do is slowly start making healthier choices you don't have to change everything all at once just make a little small positive change every day every week and it is going to lead you into a much better place divine um intervention here coming in for some of you it's serendipity Tell me about this devil energy here that Scorpio's in today, please, or that's around. <clears throat> For most of you, this is a person here that's non-committal that you want to reconcile with. Um, this person is embodying devil energy, or you are because you are obsessing about this non-committal person that's refusing to compromise, and you're obsessing over reconciliation. Your whole, your mind is just so preoccupied with is this person coming back why didn't they choose me why did they do what they've did sweetheart that happened in the past and sometimes you are not supposed to know the future stay here in the present moment if this person wants to change heal and grow and come back they will but for some of you, you have to understand that if they come back in this energy or they come back to you and you're in this energy, you think that would just solve everything. But Scorpio, it won't. You think that if this person would just come back to you, that everything would be better. But it isn't that as far from the truth. It, it, whatever has happened here in your relationship, Scorp, is going to take work. It's going to take a strategy. It's going to take you all to do things in, it'll, entirely different than you did to, to mess up the relationship. If this person is not willing to do that, you are being guided here to get a higher perspective. Rise above. It is not about them not loving you you not being enough it is not about anything other than they embody a shadow side then they live in their shadow side and when you're in your shadow side you don't make great decisions this person could have healing growing and karma to pay off that doesn't include you there's a lot of reasons why a relationship is not coming back together for, for a lot of you with the lovers being the overall energy, you are not chosen and you're in your ego and you're wanting this person to come back. You think it would make everything better, but it will not, Scorpio. This person will come back. You all will do the same thing you did before. It will end again. You will end up here again unless a strategy is put into play here. You're being guided to attain some goals, start focusing on your life, stop putting so much focus on them and what they're doing and start putting the focus on you and what you're doing. I feel like um, it's going to take persistence, but there are new things on the uh, horizon. A lot of you here, you're getting in a very persistent energy where you are consistently working towards a better life. You're consistently working towards getting out of this fragmented, Ooh. obsessive thought energy. You're really trying and you're doing a fabulous job. You're taking it one step at a time. Tell me about this spirit. What's what what is the start of something bigger for my babes, please? Four of Cups, Page of Cups, you are rejected by somebody that was very immature or you have children with for some. For others, you've been sitting here apathetic, not seeing the other offers that are coming into you or not seeing, it doesn't have to be in love. The divine is trying to offer you um, something 
it's small, but it will gradually grow to be something bigger. It could be a career, some new ideas, something of the sort. Remember that we have the ability to fuck up fate as well. If, if, if we have a divine intervention and something or someone is brought into our lives and we are not, you know, we don't give it any love or attention or nurturing, well, that's on us. We all have free will. Fate determines um, what comes into your life, but free will determines what you do with it, Scorpio. So you may have things being handed to you here to try to vindicate you, to try to help you out of this shadow self behavior that you're not quite seeing because you're hanging on for dear life to the past. You're hanging on so hard, Scorpio, that you're not able to see all the beautiful new things trying to come into your life. For some of you, you have to start looking at the beauty in your life and less about this lover and less about what this lover's doing. Bring your attention to yourself. Why is Scorpio so fragmented today? For some of you, this eclipse energy is going to hit you hard. You're going to have a lot of epiphanies that this person in your life is a player, that they're selfish. They could also have an alcohol problem. They could have problems with, with codependency in general. You're being enlightened that what what are you really winning here, sweetheart? A player? Somebody that's going to rush into in, in and out of your life, hurt you, bleed all over you? It seems to me like you're being guided to take a leap of faith off the cliff here, Scorpio. Go in a new direction. If this person keeps coming back with the same old tired-ass love offer, you're going to get the same old tired-ass prize. And that's being alone and left and feeling rejected. Now, if this person comes back and they're in a better energy and they find their self out of this shadow self behavior, I believe in redemption. But for, for most of you, that's not the case. They keep just coming back in the same energy and it's fragmenting you. It's it, They're actually bleeding over into you. Their indecision is making your whole, whole life stalemate because you're so confused. Um, you are being guided to attain some goals here. Um, uh, get in your higher self. Start looking at this in a different way. Change your perception here. There's something you're being guided to research because spirit is trying to bring you in wish fulfillment, but you're so fragmented you're not seeing it is what I see here. You're so fragmented that you're not understanding that there's some beautiful things that will, that, and things are going to gradually get better. All you see here is the sadness or what you lost. If you need me to pray for you, as always, please put prayer in the comment section, darling, and I will certainly say a prayer that you can make your way, see yourself out of this fragmented devil energy. Moving on here to money spirit. Tell me, what is the money message for my babes today? Actually, I want to do an overall. What is the overall energy for my babes today, spirits in money? The Hierophant. A lot of you are very spiritual people. You're being guided to connect to your higher self, the divine, wisdom, tradition. You may be looking to do something traditional in your money and career. Spirit is trying to give you ideas, give you ways out of lack or ways out of this fragmented bad finance um, energy. I feel like your finances have been off. For some of you, because you're so fragmented, and you're sad, and your vibration's low. But slowly here, you're making your way out of that. Slowly, you're going to make your way into a better time in your life. Health is wealth. Pay attention to your diet. For some of you, you may be guided here to do something different with, with your diet and exercise. It happened to me. I've told you guys this before, but I had never been at a heavier weight in my life and but after I lost my son I have pro I have post-traumatic stress and my body just was hanging on to um calories and and things for dear life I I my doctor described it and explained it to me and I it's been a battle it has been a fight and I am actually changing my diet again to try to get the rest of the weight off because I've hit you know a plateau where I need to start exercising more and and change my diet even a little more and I am feeling called because I just it's a constant 
calling urge inside of me. So you may be constantly knock, knock, Scorpio. It's time to change your diet so you have more energy and you have more vitality to be able to go after your dreams or you need to change your diet or your health. You're going to start having health problems like diabetes or things like that and then it will affect your money. Know that health is is wealth. And, and for those that are, that are really suffering with health problems, again, I will pray for you. I'm so sorry. I can't even imagine how hard it's been for you with your money and finance. Honestly, so many people lose everything because of a disease or cancer, and it's terrible, especially in the U.S. It takes one tragedy to lose it all. And so if you're dealing with, with health issues and you're having trouble with money because of that, bless your heart, it's going to get better. But you are being guided to change your diet to those, for those who feel like you're being called to. You are a leader. There's opportunities to lead coming up. The divine is bringing you in something. Overtime, late nights, mornings, working extra hours, a new business here, and uh, spiritual wealth and abundance coming out with the Hierophant. Mm -mm -mm, my goodness, whoever I'm channeling today, you can't even imagine how much spiritual wealth is on the way for you. But you have to be open to, to receive it, and you have to be open to see it. Instead of focusing on what you don't have, focus on that beautiful intuition that you have been given or um, that divine knowing that everything's going to be just fine. At, at the core, Scorpio, at the, we know, we know our intuition is screaming at you. It's just everything else that makes it hazy. For some of you, you have a brand new opportunity coming and it's going to be really good and it is a gift from the divine. It doesn't matter what it is. It is something here that the Holy Spirit is trying to give to you for you to get out of lack. Some new idea, some new job, but you have to put in some effort here. Um, it looks like you, my, I'm sorry guys, I when I sat my deck down, it was upside down. It looks like you are so, can again, Guys, the messages that I'm receiving today, whoever I am channeling, you're just so, um, it, 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 so affected by an ending of a relationship that you're not sleeping, you're not eating right, you've just allowed this to take you down in every way. For some of you, you have to deal with child care or there's something with child care, um, you know, creating issues here in your money and career. You haven't been sleeping well. There was some kind of breakup that's lowered your vibration and you're just so in, in enthralled in it all that you're um, losing sight of, of your own life. And that's why it's going to be so important that you step away from this, Scorpio sitting in your mind and ruminating and thinking and and and, and um, doing what you're doing here is not helping it's hurting it's not hurting anybody but you so implementing a strategy and standing in your higher self for your money and career in your life in general is what you're being guided to do get out of this nine of swords worry 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 energy worrying does not change the outcome it only and, and it actually can because the more you worry, you can manifest in more problems, Scorp. It's going to be really important for you to try to get out of this because there are new things on the horizon and you will be the one to dictate whether those new things are good or bad is my message for you. And if you don't get out of this mindset, Scorpio, you could manifest in more lack, more trouble, more issues. This this eclipse energy is definitely affecting whoever it is I am channeling right now because this is this is not great. This energy is is just oh it's I can I know I know this energy well. It's just sick. It makes you, you're sick. Your body's sick because you're thinking so much and you're in so much pain. Bless your heart here. Please put prayer in the comment section and I will say a prayer for if this resonates with you, please, because this is a terrible way to live. This is you're driving down the road. You you don't you can't even remember how you got home because you are so lost in thought or all you just toss and you turn and you think and you think and you think and um 
you need to work hard on trying to get out of this energy. You're, you're spending so much energy on ruminating and thinking about the past. Um, you know, doesn't it make sense to take all that energy and try to focus on living in the present? Moving on here to love. Oh, be with me today, spirit. Be with me today. Let's see. What is the overall energy in love? What is the overall energy in love here, spirit? Justice. Again, justice. Karmic justice. Justice. Whoever I am channeling, you're worrying for no reason, darling. You're going to have justice. There's going to be balance. There's going to be very good things come in for you. But you're being guided to make good decisions here. That you could be going through a divorce for real and signing some paperwork and stuff. Or, or you could be karmic justice is coming. For some of you, you have a hefty settlement coming in for you. you there's no need to worry right now, Scorpio. Tell me about love for Scorpio spirit. Why are they being asked to make good decisions? Because there's sadness. There's bitterness. Somebody's thinking of you. You're uncertain about your future. You seem to have been dealing with a twin or a soul connection here. And it's really bogging down your energy. You're allowing this person to not only um, hurt you in the past, but hurt you right now and in the future. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany here. Making memories, learn from the past, perception, reminiscing. See, you're just reminiscing. You're just thinking about past conversations or past things that went well or, or past things that didn't. There's somebody thinking of you, missing you. Um, you seem to be missing them here, Scorp. Charmed, used here, girl with a snake. But there's a new phase. There, there's some kind of competition, enemies, the over other woman. Look over your shoulder. Most of you are dealing with a third party situation that's really rocked you at your core. You, you're really uh, feeling a lot of, of um, you feel like you weren't chosen. You're feeling rejected here. You feel like you were charmed or used or this person comes back in and charms you, uses you, does whatever it is they do here. Something quite shocking happened or is about to happen. Tell me about Scorpio in love, please. Temptations are affecting your love life. Their intentions are confusing, confusingly questionable. They are trying hard to earn your love. They're... They're a little too clingy for your taste. Scorpio, for some of you, this person made you feel like you were clingy. They made you feel like you are too needy. Um, but only after, it, it's almost like everything was really good. You all were together every day. You were, you were you know, messaging all the time. And then all of a sudden, they switched it off and started acting like, why are you always messaging me? Why are you, you're, you're too clingy? Like that kind of vibe is what I'm getting. Like you required too much attention from this person. That's a mind game. That's what people will do. If 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 they started to cheat, uh, suddenly they'll get very distant and then make you feel like you were clingy or you were codependent because you just stayed the same. What is this competition other woman here? Somebody here seems to have took a karmic. You were blind for a moment. It looks like you were unable to see. You idolized this person. They were your blind spot. Or this person meant a karmic and they're blinded by them. You're being guided to give yourself self-love, self-care right now. Beautify yourself. Um, it looks like no game playing. Value yourself. Date with purpose. Give it 100. You could learn the truth about somebody. Somebody may have had a reputation or there's something that you just learned about them in a third party or you're going to. Um, you will reap what you sow again coming out. This person could be dealing with some bad karma for what they've done here. They seem to have put you in a competition that you never asked to be put in. They seem to have... Um, been doing a lot having sex with other people behind your back and um there, there there is there's deep passion here between the two of you but this is somebody that uh goes out and and is very free with their sexual energy 
Doors are opening, a higher vibrational shift, time to make changes. Scorpio, it's time to do things differently. The divine is asking you to not only change your diet, but change your mind and the way you see things. If this person wants to constantly put you in competition, um, it's unfortunate, but it may never change. They may always be this way if they don't start making some major changes here. What is this shock, surprise? You could have a dream message. Scorpio, there could be something coming in in a dream here um, that you find out this person is more than friends with somebody they keep telling you they're just friends with. For some of you, something could happen between you and a friend. Remember, the eclipse is, is our seventh house of relationships. That's not just love. That's friendship and otherwise. You may have an epiphany. Now, this is for a small few of you that one of your friends was intimate here with your partner. You may find out that you heard that a friend or somebody that you thought was a friend has been out recently with your partner. Um, there's something shocking coming. I feel like this person's been bottling up their emotions, um, hiding from you. It's been a messy roller coaster of a relationship. You swing back and forth. They swing between you and this snake of a third party. There's some snake here involved. Snake as karmic involved. This person seems to be ignoring you, running. They're not ready to talk for some. But don't give up. Coming back, stick to it. But again, here, mental breakthroughs, clarity coming. This, this, um, this eclipse in full moon is going to help you have a lot of epiphanies about this person in which way you should go. Now tell me about this. We have girl with the snake and the snake, y'all. There's some fucking snake ass karmic here involved. Period. There just is. Or this person acts like a slithering snake. <clears throat> There's some completion. This is some, somebody made too quick of a decision here. There was a lot of aggression. They could have gotten angry, went out and had sex with somebody or gotten involved with a karmic from their past or somebody from their past here. They could have been meeting people online. You may find out they have a online dating Um profile or they told you they were no longer uh, dating online and they still are there's something that you're going to find out about this it's going to require a lot of strength to a swords energy this person is very confused they don't know which way to go they don't know uh which decision to make between you and this third party what do they have to say here this could be a leo a fixed sign air I'm single, and will you listen? This person seems to uh, want to come in and tell you they're not attached to anybody anymore. There's so many things I want to say to you, but will you hear me out? Will you believe me? I'm single right now. I'm not attached to anyone and not looking for a relationship. I feel like that's what this person told you, too, that they didn't want a relationship. And there's some shocking revelation that this person is saying they're friends with somebody. But let's just say this third party snake post that they're in a relationship with them or this is a they're having friends with benefits with other people telling everybody they don't want to be in a relationship right now. You could find out something about this. Tell me about this snake ass third party, please, spirit. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. For some of you in the Two of Cups in reverse, um, you could find out that this person's going through a breakup with a karmic. They're going through a breakup with somebody that they were with, and, and that's what's shocking here. Um, you're going to find out that they're single. Somebody here could have had to claim bankruptcy because of all of this, or this person may be in lack right now. Um, they seem to be uh, blocking this third party. They could have just recently blocked them. They may come back in and tell you that, that they're, they're done with the third party. They're blocking them. They've, you know, they've, they've seen, they seem to have been blinded by this. What is that spirit? They were blinded by this other person. They got their stuff wrapped up with someone that was not good for them. 
because they were not in a good place. Yeah, death. See, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, uh, this person, death, nine of pentacles in the chariot, this person is finally leaving a karmic snake ass person that um, they got their self wrapped up with. They're moving forward here in the chariot. This could be another Scorpio, a Cancer, an Earth sign. This person seems to have gotten their self wrapped up with some third party um, that they were blinded to, that acted like they were everything that they ever wanted. And now you, some, there's going to be some shocking revelation that you find out they are no longer with this third party. Or this person was married to them for a really long time, but they blinded their self and act, you know, idolized this third party and now they're finally seeing this 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 eclipse is helping them have epiphanies is what i see them have epiphanies what did i do here really they could be having dream messages they're having epiphanies here though um what the, what did i really do here i messed up my whole relationship with scorpio for this snake for some of you that is the case now, over the course of the next few weeks, um, if you hear that there is a breakup, know that this, this, this reading resonates with you, that this is for you. For others, you know, you, don't take this if it doesn't apply. I don't want to get somebody's hopes up is what I'm saying. This is for somebody, this is for the Scorpio Collective who know this person's having issues with a karmic, that something isn't right in their relationship. I bet you over the course of the, let's say the next month, there's going to be some kind of breakup between the two of them. This person was out here having flings. Look how sexual they are, damn. They're a very sexual person. They were having flings here. They meant somebody new and and they they bailed. And now this third party karmic is uh <laughs> getting the boot. This person is 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 bailing on this this relationship with this karmic. I can't stop my mind from escaping from a world only you and I know. I've been sleeping around sometimes one night stands and forgive me, but I've met a new love here, Scorpio. This is what this person's been out here throwing their sexual energy around. They got their self involved with a karmic and they are now split zone. They are ready to get out the damn door. This third party could be the one who's being really clingy, who who's um, doing extra shit, like just totally extra, trying to keep this relationship together. Whatever they were doing, this person is finally seeing. This third party could have been cheating. They could have been doing all sorts of stuff, taking money from them, lying. Maybe they're just not compatible. They got swept up in the moment. But all I know is if this person is dating somebody, um, they are starting to wake up to this blindfold they've been wearing. The B, productivity. It is time to examine your productivity. Disorganization and indecisiveness may be causing you to miss opportunities. Take a moment to prioritize your goals and get clear on the view of how to get where you want to go. You, my guides are so good. They're confirming everything I said to you here, Scorpio. All of your indecisiveness, all of this feeling sad and in lack, and, and you're, you're just missing out on new opportunities. This fragmented shadow self energy. It's time for you to get here. Don't make any major decisions just for two weeks. Give it two weeks. I'm going to focus as much as I can on the present moment. I'm going to enjoy my day. I'm going to focus on my task and I'm going to work hard on stopping my subconscious mind from just being on repeat of negativity and bad things because the divine is trying to bring you in new things. They may not be big, huge blessings, but you're not realizing they could be bigger you, they're just a start of something bigger but indecisiveness here you not making decisions it's just stalemated your life you are the one that can change your life Scorpio I hope everybody has the most beautiful and blessed Friday ever going to be the best Friday we've ever had today is the best day we've ever had and happy birthday to my beautiful Scorpios that were born today love and light